Hi everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. I'm in my backyard workshop because today I want to fit two new upgrades to my Canon Ultimate to reduce even further its weight. You know that I specifically chose a Canyon Ultimate with rim because I wanted to access a lightweight bike with the least possible investment. And this is actually my second Canyon Ultimate because the first one I bought was uh, pre-owned about 1100 pounds, served me really really well and when this was going out of production to make way for the new disc brake version I bought one of the last remaining rim brake version because to me this is kind of the ultimate <laughs> bike for me is my forever bike the best compromise between the cost and the performance especially with its weight you know in cycling you can get lightweight and uh, cheap with rim you can get lightweight and uh, very expensive with disc so if you want a lightweight bike but with disc brakes you need to spend a lot more so in my particular use of the bike i do prefer being fast uphill because i need every help i can get with my relatively heavy weight for cycling i prefer to be more careful on the descent and of course with the drawbacks of the rim brakes with carbon wheels in the wet. So I've already made some improvements over the standard Canyon Ultimate. Yes, because this usually comes with a standard bar and stem combination and I bought the integrated handlebar. This is the H31 that's usually fitted on the Endurace. Now, if you haven't seen my specific video on the steerer and the reinforcement ring that you should fit inside these bars, especially the ones that have the two bolts from behind I'll put the link up there because it's very important for your safety that you watch that video yes I did crack a, a stereo tube before and uh, I don't want this to happen to anyone so I do have a very simple cable support for the computer that is light and actually quite well uh, resistant for the vibration that the computer mount usually gets Another major upgrade that of course reduced the weight on the bike are the carbon wheels. These are prime, so very, very low price, but price versus performance is extremely good. The design of the wheels is great, they serve me really, really well, and the weight reduction is substantial compared to any other aluminum wheels. You can go lighter, 3900 grams if you go shallow especially. The saddle is a Cell Italia Novus Boost. This is the old model, they don't do this anymore. It does have carbon rails. It's not one of the lightest in the market. You can get a much lighter saddle without even the padding, but I want to preserve my comfort in the long ride. So this is, again, a good compromise. In cycling, whenever you want to go really, really light, you have to judge whether the investment and the cost is uh, proportionate not just because of the money you spend but because of the usage you want to have on the bike when you go extremely light paths become very fragile they do have a weight limit so unless you want to race uphill where you just use the bike for a very short period you don't want to go really crazy with the lightweight components so my choice is to get lightweight within uh, a good usage and within reason not to have a bike that is flimsy but to have a bike that I can use anywhere. The seat post is a work of art. I swapped the original seat post with an Alpinist seat post from Roval. Very lightweight, is uh, one of the best additions I made to the bike and I saved quite a bit of weight. And the cages are also elite, elite Leggero in uh, carbon. Where I didn't really do anything in terms of lightweight is the group set. Yes, this bike came with a 105 group set. The only thing I changed is the main chain ring. Because I went with the slightly odd setup, 53 outside to get the best speed on the descent and on the flats, and I kept the 36 inside. It works really well. I saved a little bit of weight because the absolute black chainring is slightly lighter than the 105. At the back I have a CGA direct mount hanger. This saves a little bit of weight, avoiding uh, one link here to hold the rear derailleur and it works to give you a little bit more precision in the gear shifting. So let's see in uh, this um, setup what's the bike weight and what it's going to be with the new upgrade I'm going to fit. 
I'm going to leave of course the pedals on the bike, these are Ultegra Shimano pedals. Very little wobble, if I may. <laughs> 7350 is the starting weight for this uh, combination. Tadej Pogaccia Colnago V4 RS is very similar in weight, looks almost similar to my bike in terms of design as well, so when I'm out on the road I can almost dream I got the same tools as Pogaccia, so there's no excuse for me to go slow on any climbs. I still don't end up as fast as he is, but that's another problem. And this is where I decided to spend my money in a bit of a silly move, but I decided to buy new skewers for the wheels. But you have to be careful because they are now available quite cheaply, titanium skewers, they are very light. I didn't want to go in that direction because I still uh, don't want my wheels to fall off. Yes, uh, so unfortunately if you read the reviews sometimes that happen. I bought this um, KCNC skewers Z6 which are relatively lighter but they have the steel axle so they do offer at least in my mind a better clamping and overall in theory they should offer a bit more safety. I read quite a few reviews about these ones and I have to say KCNC comes up at uh, one of the very best brands in uh, this respect so I'm going to take out the standard skewers and compare the weights. These are the KCNC, let's see how much they weigh, 5937 grams. And these are the standard prime skewers, and they came at uh, 76 grams. So not much of a big weight saving here, but something is better than nothing. Where I intend to save a little bit more weight is in the cassette. Yes, the bike came, of course, with a standard 1130-105 cassette. And uh, here I have a very expensive Jura Ace cassette. I never had any Jura Ace uh, level stuff in uh, my life. I feel almost uh, not ready yet to go through the top end of Shimano products. But this uh, 11 speed was offered a very good price. Well, relatively to Jura Ace prices. This was uh, 169 pounds which in overall terms for a cassette is an uh, extortionate price, but relatively speaking is a good reduction from the lease price. So I thought, you know what, let's grab this one. It looks fantastic with uh, two different materials, titanium used to reduce weight. And uh, yes, let's have a look at uh, what weight difference is between this one and the old 105 cassette. Uh, the Dura Ace cassette looks stunning. Yes, my Shimano 105 is not that clean. I do use square loop, but I don't clean uh, the cassette that thoroughly. So that is uh, some black residue that you do have after a long ride. 295.45, let's have a look if it was at zero. Yes, 295.60. And the Jurace is 207.58. So, yes, this is a much more considerable reduction than the skewer exercise. Have to say, it does look incredible on the wheel. There we are, the cassette is fitted, looks great. It seems to shift really, really well. I will, of course, find out on the road, under load, what is the actual performance, but so far, touch wood, everything seems to go in, in the right direction. The skewers seems fine. The clamping feeling is not really as good as the standard one. And uh, I have to say for the weight differences, I'm not sure if that was a sensible move. They look okay on the bike. Maybe there's a bit too much of a contrast between the silver and the black. Not 100% sure, maybe I will find a different solution in the future. But let's see what the outcome of the weight reduction has been. Right, let's go again.
7250, so 100 grams saved, mostly from the cassette, and uh, well, quite happy with the results. Now, I understand that exercise is expensive and maybe pointless. I don't want to hear any comments like, um, well, you could have gone to the loo and uh, or maybe going on a bit of a diet and lose some weight. Right, the bike, anyway, is the base and we are on top of it, so whatever conditions you are, the lighter the bike, the better. That's at least my opinion. Next uh, big reduction on the weight level will be the brakes. There used to be a huge market in uh, lightweight calipers. The only alternative that is really, really functional and uh, lightweight and works really well is the EE Cane Creek brakes. They are extremely expensive, like 600 pounds a pair. For now, I'm not going to invest in uh, that direction. There's an even more expensive solution, the THM Fibula. More than a thousand pounds for a set of uh, carbon brakes. They are not really in tune with the concept of this bike. And I don't want to use uh, AliExpress solutions that, yes, might save a lot of weight, but in the long term, they might not be reliable. For now, this is a very good setup and I'm quite happy. Let me know in the comment what you think. I know that this might sound a odd exercise and uh, for most of you that are on disc, a relic from the past. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you to the next video. Ciao.